It's a beautiful evening here in Kilcorn Park in Waterford. Big crowd in looking forward to the final of the Dave Collins Memorial Munster Oaks. This year's competition has produced some top class fare, with Ely Schnora remaining unbeaten through the final. Some of the best bitches in Ireland taking part in this prestigious event this evening here by the shore in Waterford City. But before we see that race, let's uh, have a look at the Casey's Camping and Caravan Park Novice Stake Final. Grounds are now in traps for the final of the Casey's Caravan and Camping Park ON1 Stake. In trap 1, Radical Scoby. 2, Ballymac Mist. Trap 3, Ockerburn Bucko. 4, Ballymac Salva. 5, Droopies Maximus. Trap 6, White Nose Hawk. Away they go there and sixes away smartly on the wide outside. White Nose Hawk, the favourite Droopies Maximus, was sluggish enough from trap five as they sweep around the first bend. So it's White Nose Hawk there, takes him along, heading down the back stretch from three in second place. Ockerburn Bucko, five is back in third. Droopies Maximus, six, continues to pile on the pressure up front. That's White Nose Hawk, three in second place is persistent. Ockerburn Bucko, uh, five back in third. Droopies Maximus, as they turn into face, this is trap six, still in front, going to make every yard of the running. White Nose Hawk scores, three is up for second. Ockerburn Bucko, five back and third Dupies Maximus and the winning time 28.65 Now the runners are coming on parade for our feature race of the night it's the final of the Dave Collins Memorial Monster Oaks kindly sponsored by Jag Building Services the first prize here is €7,500 first one we see they're running from Trap 1 that's Mustang Fever next up in Trap 2 Dealey Schnora won by J.S. Porter trained by John F. McGee Trap 3 Annie Ann Fire Owned by Keel Munrooney, trained by Mark Lahey. In trap four, Hello Rose, owned by Lee Mannix, trained by Graham Holland. Trap five is Vacant. And in trap six, Legit News, owned by the Step In Syndicate. And this one is trained by Jimmy Media. Grounds are now in traps for the final of the 2024 Dave Collins Memorial Munster Oaks. In trap one, Mustang Fever. Two, Dealey Schnora. Three, Annie on Fire. Four, Hello Rose. Trap five is Vacant. And in trap six, Legit News. And away they go there on the run to the first bend. It's very tight with the inside greyhounds all crowding up one another. Six getting a super run on the wide outside. That's legit news. So legit news now sweeps into the lead from trap four. Hello Rose heading down the back stretch. Legit news now is opened up by four or five lengths and four giving a hot pursuit there. But legit news starts to check up between the final two bends and hello Rose closes right up. So four goes to the front there off the last bend. That's hello Rose two in second place. Delish Nora. But trap four is going to take this race. Trap four, Hello Rose defeats Trap two, Daily Schnora. Three is back in third, Annie on fire. And your winning time, 29.08. Now I'm joined by Gary Walsh, who's representing uh, Graham Holland here this evening. Gary, uh, I'm still breathless after that, and I'm sure you must be the same. Surely am. It's very hard actually see from out on the track um, when you have the dog, but she turned well in second place going down the back straight, and I was delighted with her. Yeah, she picked a good night to break her duck in this particular stake, didn't she? Exactly, yeah. Now, Waterford does take a bit to get uh, used to, so the three runs uh, she came, all came together there tonight, so did. So we're delighted with her. Like, she took advantage of the situation between the final two bends, and like in the blink of an eyelid, she was gone to the front, which must have delighted you when you saw that happening. Yeah, I was delighted to see her coming out of the second bend, to be honest. It, um, there were three or four dogs going for the one spot, and she just popped her head out in front, and she got after the six, so yeah, no, she ran a cracker first. I suppose you don't know about any future plans for us, so Graham will just have to. I'm sure he'll come up with a plan. He's a great man with a plan. That's it. We'll leave the plans to Graham, but yeah, no, we're delighted tonight and delighted for the honours there as well. Great. I'm now joined by Patsy Dunphy from Port Law. Patsy's representing the sponsor here this evening. First of all, Patsy, it's great to see you back on your feet. You hadn't been too well there a couple of months ago. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. I'm, looking well, I'm feeling well at the moment anyway. You're, 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 look, you're looking very well anyway, and I'm sure that final must have excited you some. I did a little, yeah. That's great, great, yeah. And it's great for Gavin too that he sponsored a, a good crowd here tonight as well, you know what I mean? So that's, that's brilliant for the game, you know what I mean? And, and like he sponsors other events, Kilkenny are running a, a, a stake as well at this time of the year. Yeah, that's right, yeah. He's, he's sponsoring Kilkenny as well, that's on now again. Yeah. Again. So everything going well anyway. That's good. Uh, it was an exciting race because we saw six kind of going down the back. I'm sure she was going to win, but something she just, I don't know, she just seemed to just check up between the final two bends and the bitch behind her then took full advantage of the situation. That's, what, that, that's just with a hard look, I suppose. That's the way it turned out. And look, the bitch coming behind him was, 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 was running well and she stayed on it. She, she won a race.